Hello friends and not yet friends, welcome back to Mary's Test Kitchen, where we're making black pepper tofu, a classic Chinese restaurant dish that is surprisingly not always vegan or vegetarian, but of course we're going to make it to our plant-based standards. These lightly fried morsels of marinated tofu are stir-fried with colorful vegetables and are easy DIY Chinese black pepper sauce to go with fluffy jasmine rice. So that's what I'm starting with today. If you haven't gotten a steamed rice down pat yet, I've got a guide for you linked in the description box for how to make it perfectly on the stove every time. But for this video, I'm going to assume you don't need help with that. With the rice started now, it should be done by the time our black pepper tofu is ready to eat. As always, the printable recipe with all the ingredients, measurements, and any notes that didn't make the video will be linked in the description box. Let's start the tofu. Today I'm using firm tofu that I had pressing in this device for, oh, about half an hour in the fridge. It's not 100% necessary if you don't have time, but pressing really helps the tofu soak up marinade, so I highly recommend not skipping this step. Give your tofu a bit of a hug with a clean, lint-free kitchen towel, and then cube it up into bite-sized pieces. Since I have it handy, I'll put the pieces back into the container it came in for now while we make the black pepper marinade, which starts with two tablespoons of Shaoxing wine. That's Chinese cooking wine you can get from an Asian grocery store, or if you're lucky like me, the Asian food aisle of your local supermarket. Otherwise, you can substitute cooking sherry or just vegetable broth if you don't want to use wine. Traditionally, this dish uses Chinese oyster sauce, but we're using Chinese mushroom stir-fry sauce. Since many Chinese people practice vegetarianism for religious and other reasons, they make this sauce specifically to replace oyster sauce, and it's very, very similar. Quite salty, very tasty, but very concentrated, so you wouldn't really want to lick the spoon. Add a teaspoon of soy sauce and a teaspoon of nutritional yeast, but crush it with your fingers into a powder in order to prevent chunks. And finally, the star flavor, a teaspoon of ground black pepper. Mix that up really well, then you can pour it over your tofu. Because this container just fits the tofu, the marinade is going to have good contact. Well, so long as we fiddle with it a little and press it gently here or there, so the tofu can soak it up like little sponges. Ideally, this would be a peaceful time of patting your tofu and encouraging it to become as delicious as it was always meant to be without a cat jumping across the table because he wants attention. Oh my gosh, cat! You're too troublemaker. Are you okay, honey? After you make sure your cat is okay, put your tofu back in the fridge for 15 minutes or so while you check on the rice and turn the heat down to low if the water has begun to bubble. Replace the lid and cook it for 15 minutes. Afterwards, you can just turn off the heat and leave it on the stove. Onto the vegetables, I'm cutting up three bell peppers here, but we're only going to use a bit of each. And I like to chop them into these triangle shapes, but whatever bite size shape is fine, really. And now we have a half cup of each color and a bunch extra, prepped for stir fries or salads throughout the week. Then chop this red onion. It's about a quarter of a large red onion. And make these big chunks. Then separate the layers. This measures about a half cup. Put the veg aside and let's make our black pepper stir fry sauce. With one tablespoon of Shaoxing wine. Again, you can substitute with cooking sherry or sub vegetable broth. Then a teaspoon of soy sauce and a teaspoon of dark soy sauce, which is thicker and darker for the color. If you can't find it, it's okay just to use regular soy sauce instead. A little sweetness balances the salty, savory flavors. And a little more mushroom stir-fry sauce, and you can taste it to see where we're at before adding two teaspoons of cornstarch and a couple tablespoons of water or vegetable broth. Afterwards, the tofu should have absorbed most of the marinade, ideally all of it, but you can check by tossing it in a sieve and save whatever comes out. Separately, in a big bowl, combine the tofu with two tablespoons of cornstarch. This will help absorb some of the outside moisture and create a thin crust when we fry it, and that'll help the black pepper sauce cling onto the tofu. You want to really just 
fold it. Don't like go in here and then stir. Go off on the edges so that the tofu doesn't break up. Okay, it's looking quite coated. Oh, I broke some tofu there. And we're going to take this to the wok. And you see this leftover marinade in there? I'm going to put it in here. Waste not, want not, right? Yeah, ready for the wok, finally. With about two tablespoons of cooking oil, heat up your nonstick pan or wok over high heat. Wait until it's really hot. The oil should be shimmering. If you add your tofu before it's hot enough, well, here's a demonstration of what not to do. You can see the oil is still not shimmering, but this impatient cook is already starting to add their tofu. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for them. Yes, as expected, moving the pieces at this time leaves a sticky residue. How will they come back from this? The trusty wooden spatula is thrown into play, and she's forcing it to happen. We do see some color on the bottom. And it's a mess. It's a big mess. Luckily, it won't matter to the final saucy dish. Let's clear the board. They're trying again with the remaining tofu pieces, this time on shimmering hot oil. And the slow but steady one at a time technique. Splatter guard because they're not taking any more chances. The moment of truth arrives and yes, the tofu is coming away cleanly. Crispy bottoms my friends, we have crispy bottoms. Looks like we have a winner after all. Let's give them a round of okay. thumbs up, eh? <laughs> all right, switch off the heat, clear off the pan, and it's back to serious business, my friends. <laughs> I'm gonna throw in one teaspoon of minced garlic. And then immediately with my red onion, turn the heat back on. Again, I'm using like high heat, medium high heat. And you don't need any more oil. You just want to stir fry this for like 30 seconds. And because I have minced garlic down, I don't want it in the center. I want it on the side. And then pushing it all to the side, I am going to add my peppers. My bell peppers. After about two it. minutes, give this stir fry sauce a little stir to kick up the cornstarch that's probably settled on the bottom. See how thick it got right away? And oh, it's, okay, I'm gonna push it all to the side so it doesn't cook too, too fast. Pour the tofu back in, and I might need a tiny smidge of water to get this to combine. So, so just folding gently if I can. Oh no, I don't need more water. This is good. Just gonna add a little freshly ground pepper. Oh, just about a quarter teaspoon. In almost all of my cooking, especially for these Chinese restaurant style dishes, why not add a little sesame oil for the fragrance? Unless of course you're allergic to sesames, in which case I'm so sorry. Sounds terrible. Not too much though. Um, it just adds a fragrance and you don't want to add so much that it becomes sesame oil tofu. Because that is also, I think, a thing. Or it should be because <laughs> it sounds delicious. As predicted, the rice is ready now and it's time to plate up. Doesn't that look so good? And it is! Bright black pepper flavor with sesame oil and a hint of sweetness to mellow it out. The tofu is plump and saturated with flavor in contrast to the crispy bell peppers and sweet red onion. This is the perfect weeknight meal that is quick and easy to make. I really hope you give this a try and let me know how it goes in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching my friend, especially all the way to the end. You make videos like this possible with your support, your likes and comments. I appreciate you so, so much. 
Plus, an extra shout out to my channel members. You know who you are. If you want to join them and get early access to all my videos, please click the join button to learn more. Until next time, bye for now.